I get a lot of shit from friends and coworkers when I say that I live in New Jersey, but we really love Jersey City. I used to live on the Upper East Side. I was surrounded by tons of restaurants. There was a lot of energy, but I also kind of felt like I never really got an escape. It was so busy that I never really was able to relax. So what I love about Jersey City is that there's a lot less of that intensity and that high energy. Hi, welcome to my apartment in Jersey City. My name is Molly, I'm 27 years old. I live in Jersey City, New Jersey in a two bedroom apartment with my boyfriend and we pay $4,320 in rent a month. I'm a cultural strategist at a consulting agency in Manhattan, and my boyfriend works in real estate. So currently we have about a 60-40 split of the rent. My boyfriend pays 60% and then I pay about 40%. We kind of arrived on that just based on what we were both comfortable paying. I didn't want him to be paying drastically more than I was, even though he does make a lot more money than I do. We have a corner unit in this current apartment, which is great. So we've got gorgeous views of Jersey City looking west, and then we also have views of New York City looking north, so we can see the Empire State Building and some parts of Midtown as well, which is always a view that our guests love. I always say to people, you get the best views of New York City from Jersey City. Our building has a lot of amenities, which we really love. There is a 24-hour concierge service downstairs, there's also a package room and an Amazon hub. We also have a coffee bar and lounge on the first floor. There's also a gym with Peloton bikes and a fitness studio. And then we also have a pool deck as well as a grilling area on the ninth floor. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about Jersey City that it's like not really a fun or interesting place to be. A lot of people like to put Jersey City down because they think it's so far outside the city. But for me, it's just so easy to get into downtown if I want to. I think that when people come over and they actually see our apartment, they kind of realize why we actually do live here. So we were originally living in a one bedroom apartment in the same building. We were paying about $3,012 a month in rent for that. But during the pandemic, we both were working from home. So we were very crowded and we definitely needed more space. So we started looking for two bedroom apartments or one bed dens to kind of set up a home office so that we would have more space and flexibility with our work schedules. I think we didn't want to end up spending drastically more than our last one bedroom apartment. And we wanted to make sure that it was within both of our budgets. My boyfriend does make more money than I do. So we had to make sure that, you know, I was also comfortable with the situation we were in. We actually were looking to potentially move to Brooklyn um, because I have a lot of friends there and we wanted to try a new neighborhood out. So we looked at a couple of places there. The amenities in some of the Brooklyn buildings were not as nice as the ones that we were accustomed to here in our current building. So then we kind of came back to our current building that we were living in and they had a two bedroom apartment that was available that was perfect for us and that fit within our budget. So we decided to stay in Jersey City. And also I'm from New Jersey originally, so it's nice for me to be close to home as well. Our upfront move-in costs were first month's rent, which was $4,320, and then a security deposit for $1,500, which my boyfriend and I split evenly. So that's a total of $5,820 to move in. So actually the security deposit from our previous apartment just rolled over into this new one, so we didn't actually have to pay any more out-of-pocket costs for the security deposit. And when they did the inspection of the apartment after we moved out, we received the full security deposit back. We didn't have to pay for any incidentals or damages. So that was really great.
It's got such a great community feel. I'm just five minutes to Manhattan on the Exchange Place path. So if I wanna go into Manhattan, it's very easy for me, but it's also a great place to hang out. There's a lot of amazing restaurants and bars in the Grove Street area that are all within a five to 10 minute walking distance from our apartment. We've got ample hills downstairs next door. We've also got a sushi restaurant right downstairs. We like to go for walks along the water. There's a really beautiful walkway along the Hudson River with a really great view of the city skyline. That was really nice for us to do during the pandemic when there wasn't a lot open, just to go out and get some fresh air. So when you walk into our apartment, we have a little entryway, a little hallway. On your left-hand side, there is a bathroom. When you walk through the rest of the apartment, we have a big kitchen, living, dining room space with windows on both walls. We've got a lot of really great counter space here. Um, I try to cook as much as possible um, when I can. And then I can also watch TV while I cook, which is really amazing. This is where we spend most of our time relaxing, um, watching TV, occasionally working on the couch here. This couch was actually a pandemic purchase. Um, we really needed to reinvest in a better couch. The one that we had was super old. This is our little dining area. This piece is actually one of my favorite things in the apartment. Um, it's a dining set from West Elm, but I actually got it on Facebook Marketplace for like $300 when normally it retails for like 1500. So this is our bedroom. I really love this space. It's super comfortable and calming. I really love West Elm's mid-century collection. So we got a couple of pieces from that. So this is by far my favorite room in the whole apartment. This is my home office. During the daytime, I usually get priority over the space because I need the desktop and a second screen to do my work. And my boyfriend usually works out in the kitchen area. But at night, my boyfriend usually gets priority over the space to play video games with his friends. In addition to the home office space, we also kind of have a little at home gym section with some weights and yoga mats. Even though we do have a gym on the ninth floor, we sometimes just like to be able to do workouts um, in our own space. I'd say we both feel pretty comfortable with the amount of rent that we're paying right now. I'm more of a saver while my boyfriend likes to spend a little bit more. So I think we balance each other out. I feel like we get a lot more for our money here, even though we are paying a significant amount in rent. We have such great amenities. We've got such great space. We've got beautiful views of the city. So for me, it's a lot more worth it. I don't think that we're in a rush to buy property anytime soon. I think we're pretty happy renting for the next few years, um, but it is something down the line that I think that we would be open to. If we were to buy, I think it probably would be in Jersey City. It's quite young. You do see a lot of young families here, so I could definitely see putting down roots here in the future.